What if Naruto was actually trained by Haruzen? How would events change in the Naruto story? Would Naruto still become Hokage or die trying? Well, this video is going to be covering all that and more, so stick around to the end to find out. This video all starts off with Haruzen keeping his promise to Minato and Kushina and actually adopting Naruto as he should have in the original story. Because of this, Naruto grows up in the Sarutobi household and even has his name changed to be Naruto Sarutobi, proudly growing up and being looked after by Asuma and Haruzen, as well as being trained during his early years by Anbu members who would show Naruto the ropes. And when Naruto was five years old, he would show incredible signs of being a one in a million prodigy and his massive chakra reserves give Haruzen even more of a reason to truly train him up. So for the next year, Naruto would learn chakra control and begin to show insane talent with wind jutsus and taijutsu skills, even learning water and tree walking. And by the time he turned seven, he would be ready to enter the academy and he would learn earth style jutsus as well as water jutsus and begin to dive into controlling the nine tails chakra so by the time naruto would be 10 naruto would graduate from the academy early having mastered three times of nature transformation by this point being super proficient in taijutsu and even sealing jutsus and would have his progress supercharged by this timeline to Ruzin, who actually does his job and doesn't abandon naruto but that said, with Naruto graduating, Hiruzen places him in his Anbu and Naruto would carry out tons of missions over the next three years, mastering all five nature transformations by the end of it and learning the multi-shadow clone jutsu, as well as having an insane arsenal of jutsus since he is being trained by Hiruzen, who knows every single jutsu there is to know in the leaf. So by the time Naruto is 13, he'd be a one in a billion talent and have an incredible relationship with Kanahamaru, Asuma who he views as an older brother, and his grandpa Hiruzen. Around this time, Hiruzen would inform Naruto he's being placed on a Genin team to have a normal experience, saying Naruto should get the chance to be a normal shinobi. But Naruto would laugh saying, Gramps, I think you know better than anyone, I'm everything but normal. I'm gonna be Hokage someday soon, and I don't need to be on a Genin team, I'm way past that. But Haruzen says it's final, and Naruto would end up joining Team 7, showing up to the bell test the next day, where Naruto would shock Sakura and Sasuke, who legit thought Naruto had died or something. But he laughs and says he's just glad he's on a team with Sasuke, saying he is the rookie of the year, right? As Sasuke smirks and nods, but trust me, that smirk is not going to be lasting that long. As once Kakashi announces the bell test, Naruto immediately tells Sasuke and Sakura the purpose of this test and manages to get the bells using teamwork and would completely outshine the squad, outshining Sasuke especially in every department since Naruto this time isn't just a goofball with a lot of strength, but Naruto is just as smart. He's a genius in combat, an expert tactician. After the bell test would be over, Sasuke would be feeling insecure because he just saw how powerful Naruto is, and so he'd be getting ready to leave and train on his own, when suddenly, Naruto calls out to him and asks him if he's doing anything right now, as he says he's gonna go train, and Naruto says, can I come with? I can give you some major pointers on your taijutsu and maybe I could even show you some fire style jutsus. Once Sasuke hears this, he'd be shocked and swallow his pride as he would accept Naruto's offer as they would go to train and they would train every single day for the next two weeks while they're given D rank missions, which Naruto really hates. But eventually, the bridge builder mission would come along and from here we jump into Sasuke's point of view as the demon brothers attack and Naruto swiftly takes them down shocking Sasuke and even Kakashi who says Naruto got a lot stronger but Naruto's too zoned in and holds a kunai to their necks interrogating them and finding out that they were hired as Naruto turns to Kakashi saying handle it as he would then turn towards Tazuna and say scene rank mission huh you're lucky Kakashi and myself are here if not this mission would immediately be called off 
After this, they continue as eventually Zabuza appears and Kakashi would face off against him until Kakashi was about to get caught in the water prison. This would be when Naruto jumps into action weaving a water style looping vortex jutsu, creating a vortex so strong it almost drowns Zabuza, who manages to escape last second and Naruto would scold Kakashi when suddenly Senbon needles come flying in as Naruto catches one mid-air and smirks as he proceeds to weave hand signs for clones, making 30 shadow clones telling Sasuke to get ready I'm gonna help you catch your first fish as Sasuke readies up and Naruto draws Haku out by performing three jutsus to draw Haku out and when Haku would finally be drawn out he would jump in the way trying to catch Naruto in an ice mirror jutsu which would work but after a couple of senbon needles being thrown at Naruto Naruto analyzes the jutsu and once he realizes its weaknesses he simply says check me as from here, he would create an earth style multi spike jutsu. As Haku dies immediately on impact, as he tried shooting from one mirror to another, and Sasuke watching this would be stunned. But Naruto turns to him, smiles, and then would look at Kakashi as he says, You done yet, copycat? As Kakashi pulls out his chidori from Zabuza's chest, and Naruto says, That was a lot of fun. It's been a while since he's had a good real battle. As from here, they go on to finish the mission, and Naruto would help Kakashi train the team over the next two weeks, while Tazuna finishes the bridge. Oh, and before I forget, this thumbnail was made by Crown Fiend, check him out. But eventually, the Chunin exams roll around, and Naruto would be told by Haruzen that originally he wasn't going to let him take part in the exam, but two people wouldn't be fair, telling Naruto to hold back as Naruto smirks and says, copy that cramps as from here the exams start and when lee challenges sasuke naruto tells sasuke not to do it saying he needs to save his energy but really it's because he knows sasuke would get stopped but after this they eventually find themselves in the forest of death facing off against orochimaru as naruto would not take this lightly at all knowing all about orochimaru and the legendary sonin and as soon as naruto feels orochimaru's presence he turns to sasuke and says sasuke i know he seems strong but just listen to me, turn off your brain and focus. Don't focus on what your body's telling you to do. It's in survival mode, you have to control it. Get ready, formation six, as from here, Naruto rushes in at Orochimaru with a bow staff and begins to engage Orochimaru, shocking him as he kicks back and shoots a wind style as Sasuke shoots a fire style, hitting Orochimaru, melting his disguise, and then Naruto says, I don't know what the old man saw in you. You're a disappointment. If I was as weak as you, I'd be scared of death too, as this really angers Orochimaru, and he stops holding back, kicking Naruto into a tree and rushing in with a weird jutsu, as Naruto dodges leaving an explosive clone in his place and making 10 clones who shoot elemental jutsus at Orochimaru, but he would substitute himself out of the way and Naruto body flickers next to him, as he smacks him into a tree with his bow staff and yells, NOW SASUKE, as he uses zip wire to trap him and Naruto then shoots a fire fire style at him burning Orochimaru, or so he thinks, as he realizes it's a diversion and Sasuke would get bit by the curse mark, falling over as Orochimaru leaves saying, it was fun, say hi to the old man for me, brat. As he disappears, leaving Naruto to rush Sasuke to the Chunin Tower, having an encounter with the Sound Squad along the way and taking them out as he makes it to the tower just after Gara. and once there Sasuke is treated as he eventually wakes up and the curse mark takes over, but since he's in the care of Kakashi and Naruto, nothing happens. Eventually, the 1v1 battles take place where Naruto lets himself be beat by Kiba since he knows he doesn't need the Chunin rank and Sasuke would advance to the finals after defeating his opponent. After this, the one month of training would be over, and during this month, Naruto would train with Jiraiya, shocking him as to how talented he is, seeing as this is the first time they meet. He would learn the Rasengan, but eventually once this would finally be over, Sasuke's fight with Gara would come right into view, and these events wouldn't change at all, the attack wouldn't either, and Naruto just like in canon follows Sasuke to make sure that he's safe, and trusts Haruzen to beat that clown. So, as this happens, Naruto and Sasuke would defeat Gara, and so, after this, Naruto would rush back into the village, only to find Haruzen dead. This would truly break Naruto and fill him with a rage like never before, with Naruto vowing 
to kill Orochimaru if it's the last thing he does. Following these events though, we now have the search for Tsunade arc and here, even though he is very powerful, he still can't beat Itachi and Kisame, so he would do his best to hold them off, but just like in canon, Jiraiya would arrive to save the day and Itachi and Kisame retreat, with Sasuke being taken back to the Leaf Village since, just like in canon, he rushes in and says, ITACHI! But eventually though, they would end up finding Tsunade and when they do, she would still end up challenging Naruto and losing because of course course she does, I mean, in the original Naruto beat her this time, it's that much easier. But after this happens, she would tell them about her deal with Orochimaru, and eventually they encounter him. With Naruto not playing any games, the second Naruto sees Orochimaru, it would be on sight, as he activates his 3 tails mode and blitzes in, sending Orochimaru flying, as he would scream, YOU KILLED HIM YOU BASTARD, as he then evolves to the 4 tails state and goes off on Orochimaru, forcing Orochimaru to retreat, but because of this, Naruto wouldn't have anywhere to direct his anger, so for a couple of minutes, Tsunade and Jiraiya would struggle with trying to calm him down, but once they are able to, they return to the village where Naruto continues training and summons Monkey King Enma, asking him why in the world that man had to use that jutsu. As from here, he cries and says he needs to get stronger no matter what. So Monkey King Enma offers to teach Naruto Sage Mode, and Naruto agrees, as for the following week, Naruto masters Monkey Sage Mode and returns to the village the morning after Sasuke was kidnapped. So he's immediately sent on a mission to return Sasuke, but Naruto has other plans, he's not gonna return anything until Orochimaru's dead. So on their way to the mission, Naruto uses a sound genjutsu to trap the entire squad in a powerful genjutsu that none of them saw coming and take them out of commission for a couple of hours, leading him to track the sound four to Orochimaru's base, where Naruto would finally make his presence known and proceed to body them, using his sage mode, leaving only Sasuke behind, who would smile and say they were weak. How about you try to do that to me? As Naruto simply tells Sasuke, sit down. As Naruto slams a Rasengan into him and knocks him out, as he would enter Orochimaru's base, where he proceeds to use a self-destruction jutsu he created, sending 200 Kamikaze clones inside and blow them all up, leaving Orochimaru in an even more weakened state, killing Kabuto, a bunch of his experiments and even Kimimaru, and then simply entering the base like a badass like Sasuke would in the original and kill Orochimaru as he would then grab Sasuke, toss him over his shoulder and return to the village, where he would inform Tsunade that he killed Orochimaru, beat the Sound 4, and she would be completely shocked, but she would still scold him for the fact that she knocked out the team, but then Naruto informs her he didn't even need them, as he has access to Sage Mode now and didn't want to endanger them, and so she'd be even more stunned, saying that dang Haruzen trained you too well, not even we were half as strong as you are now, and Naruto Naruto simply smiles, as from here, Naruto goes on to see Sasuke in the medical room and says he killed the guy Sasuke wanted to train under. So now, he guesses he owes him some sort of training, right? As Sasuke would be like, are you serious? Even after I tried to kill you? But Naruto laughs saying Sasuke, trust me, people wanting to kill me isn't anything new to me. As from here, they would go on a train for the next 3 years, and Sasuke learns a huge chunk of Naruto's own arsenal, as well as training with Kakashi, he would develop his own secret jutsus, but after all of this, they'd both be very stacked and eventually the Kaze Kage mission would come around, which um, I'm not even sure if you noticed, but Sasuke himself could handle this mission alone, so we're gonna skip it and move on to Asuma's funeral, in which Naruto after finding out his big brother died, he pretty much breaks breaks down and would agree to join Shikamaru's squad in the killing of the Akatsuki, and not just Hidan and Kakazu, but Naruto thinking bigger, he's gonna destroy the whole thing, he wants his get back in blood. And so, Naruto goes on to obliterate Kakazu, and after this return to the village, only to find out Sasuke left the village to try to fight Itachi, and Naruto would track him down to the Uchiha hideout, where once there, he asks Sasuke what the big idea is, as Sasuke says it's his fight, and Naruto says he knows that, but he's not gonna let him do it alone, he also wants to kill the Akatsuki. 
just as bad as he does, as Sasuke smirks and eventually they meet up with Kisame, who lets Sasuke in but not Naruto, and Naruto, well, let's just say he says sit down kid, as he uh, handles it if you know what I mean. And eventually Naruto watches the entire battle between Sasuke and Itachi, up until the very end when Obito would arrive and try to take Sasuke. But this time around, Naruto would appear out of nowhere, seemingly teleporting in as he says, whoa there buddy, getting a little too close there don't you think? Trying to grab him by the shoulder as his hand goes right through Obito's body and Naruto jumps back before getting hit and says, so you're not as weak as you look. As from here, he says, well, if Gramps taught me anything, it's that I should never underestimate my opponent, so... As he would tap into his KCM1 monkey sage mode state, and he would look to Obito, who would say, Very impressive, but not enough. Rushing in, as Naruto substitutes out of the way and uses clones to figure out how Obito's jutsu works. And once he figure out the basic mechanics of it, Naruto says simple enough, as he rushes in and throws his staff in the air. Then, he would rush at Obito, and just like father like son, flying Raijin teleports behind Obito to a staff and slam a Rasengan into Obito's body, as he weakens him a bit, and Obito gets up shocking Naruto, who realizes that this is gonna take a lot more, so getting into a stance, he'd say, come on, as they rush each other again, and Obito would land blow after blow to Naruto, Naruto letting this happen, as he would go on to create 10 shadow clones who form Rasengans, and then they would throw them at Obito who would watch them as they disappear, and he laughs saying, his chakra must have run out, as he would get ready to land the finishing blow, when suddenly, 10 lightning Rasengans would slam into him, and he would fall to the ground where Naruto uses a ceiling jutsu to bring him back to the leaf, where he'd be interrogated, and Kakashi finds out about Obito being alive. Obito would have his Sharingan taken out, and then eventually Pain arrives at the village, where Naruto bodies him, and would be crowned the 6th Hokage.